Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to talk about a powerful tool called ChatGPT and how you can use it to enhance your C-Sharp learning experience. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced programmer, ChatGPT can be a valuable resource for each one of us. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. First thing first, what exactly is ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT is an advanced or large language model developed by OpenAI and released in November 2022. It's trained on a vast amount of text data from the internet, making it capable of understanding and generating human-like responses. It can engage in conversations, answer questions, and provide useful information on various topics, including programming languages like c -sharp. ChatGPT stands for Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is based on the GPT 3.5 architecture, which is an advanced version of the model. GPT 3.5 is designed to generate human-like text based on the given input prompt and is trained on the wide range of the internet text to understand and generate coherent responses. What do you mean by the large language model? The large language model which is used in the chat GPT has been trained on a massive amount of data and can perform a variety of language related tasks such as answering questions, generating conversational responses, providing explanations, writing essays and many more. Chat GPT is widely used for natural language understanding and generating tasks and can be integrated into various applications and platforms to enhance user interactions. How to access ChatGPT? It's very simple, just a three step process. Step one, open your browser and type the URL https chat.openai.com auth login, right? So you will be getting this type of screen. Step two, first time user proceed for sign up because we need to create an account as a first time user. So we need to click the sign up button, then this type of screen will appear. Here we need to provide this email address and continue button, right? Or we have another option, we can go add with this continue with Google, continue with Microsoft account or continue with Apple, right? And then in the next screen, they will be asking the phone number that is also required to verify your identity for security purpose. Right? Number three, state your intention and ask question. If you see here, send a message, there is a text box here. Here we need to type our intention and ask the question. And if you see how chat GPT is going to help us, it has given you examples also. What type of examples? How we can ask the question, right? For example, explain quantum computing in simple terms. Got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday? How do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? So some examples they have given. And also capabilities. What chat GPT is having capabilities? They have also mentioned few of them. For example, remembers what user said earlier in the conversation. Suppose if you are communicating with this chat GPT, you ask some question and the follow up question you are asking. So chat GPT is remembering what you have said earlier in the conversation, right? That is the capability that chat GPT is having. Okay. Number two, allows user to provide follow up corrections trained on, trained on decline inappropriate request. Let's suppose if you are asking some question and that is not appropriate. And chat GPT is trained in such a way that it is going to decline your inappropriate request. So make sure that you ask only appropriate request only. Okay. What is the limitation this chat GPT is having? It may occasionally generate incorrect information, may occasionally produce harmful instruction or biased content, limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So basically whatever the data has been fed or whatever the this model has been developed. Those are information they are having. Let's see all these things in action. In order to access chat GPT, we need to open this browser. So I have opened this Chrome browser. Here we need to type this URL chat.openai.com auth login. So we'll be getting this screen. Here we'll be getting two options login or sign up. Because as a first time user, you need to sign up first for creating an account in chat GPT. So we need to click the sign up button. Once we if this once we click the sign up button, we are getting this screen here. It is mentioning, please note that phone verification is required for sign up. Your number will be only used to verify your identity for the security purpose. So first of all, they are asking email address. If you are having email address, you can go ahead with this and continue. In the next screen, they will be asking the password 
configuration so you need to put your password so that whenever you are trying to access this chat open ai right chat gpt you need to provide this credential and then you are able to log in into that or here we have another option continue with the google continue with the microsoft account and continue with the apple if you are having google account or microsoft account or apple account you can go ahead with this option also okay so we have various options over here so i have already created an account so i'm just going to log in class in c sharp So did you see that we have asked explain class in c-sharp and they have given answer to us right they have given the definitions introduction they have given the examples also they try to explain what they have written for this particular example and also how to use this class so they have created an object of this class assign the property values and then they have called this greed method that's what output is going to come like this right so they have given proper information one by one right you can even copy code and try to you know execute in the c sharp compiler so such type of question we can ask uh, in c sharp let's suppose i just want to put it another question for example which book is best to learn c sharp programming okay i have asked this question okay when i ask this question they have started suggesting if you see what they have written there are several excellent books available to learn c sharp programming the choice of the best book depends on your level of programming experience and your learning preference here are a few highly recommended books for learning c sharp programming c sharp 9.0 in a nutshell Head for C Sharp, C Sharp Programming Yellow Book by Rob Miles, Programming C Sharp by Ian Griffiths, and then C Sharp in Debt by John Skate, right? So all those things they have mentioned. And remember that in addition to book, there are also online tutorials, video courses, and interactive coding platforms available that can help you to learn C Sharp programming language. Choose the resources that aligns with your learning style and goals. So they have very specific information they have provided based on what question you are asking so you need to ask the correct question appropriate question and you will be getting the proper answer for that right so that's how we are going to use this chat gpt how to use chat gpt for c sharp learning while chat gpt can't directly teach us c sharp programming it can assist us in our learning journey by providing guidance answering questions and offering explanation here we are going to talk about how chat gpt can help us in learning c sharp Number one, answering questions. Let's suppose if you have a specific questions about C sharp syntax, concept, or best practices, you can ask ChatGPT and it will do its best to provide the relevant information and explanation. Number two, debugging assistance. Here, let's suppose if you are encountering an error or bug in your C sharp code and you are not sure how to fix it, you can describe the issue to ChatGPT and it may help you identify the problem or suggest problem solutions, right? Number three, providing code examples. Let's suppose uh, if you are struggling with a particular C sharp concept, or maybe you need to see some examples how to implement that, right? So you can ask ChatGPT for code snippets or examples to clarify your understanding. So such type of things you can take help from the ChatGPT. Number four, explaining concept. ChatGPT can help explain C sharp programming concepts such as object oriented programming, inheritance, interface, or link in a more conversational and accessible manner, which may be complement other learning resources. Number five, recommending learning resources. ChatGPT can suggest online tutorials, documentation, books, or video courses that can explore to learn C sharp programming more effectively. So we just need to specify our preferences and areas of, of interest, and accordingly. This chat GPT is going to suggest us. One thing you need to remember that while chat GPT can provide assistance and information, it is always recommended to supplement your learning with hands-on practice, interactive tutorials, and code exercises. 
So whenever we are going to create any practical projects or when we do some actively coding, so it will help us your understanding and make you proficient in C sharp programming language. Okay. So use Chat GPT wisely. Is Chat GPT going to eat humans job? Answer is yes or no. The impact of Chat GPT or similar AI models on human jobs is a complex and evolving topic. While AI technology like ChatGPT have the potential to automate certain tasks traditionally performed by the human, they can also create new opportunities and enhance productivity in various fields. So ChatGPT is basically designed to assist and augment human capabilities rather than replace human workers entirely. ChatGPT excels at handling repetitive or data-driven tasks, allowing humans to focus on more creative, critical thinking and problem-solving aspects of their job. Okay, with this, it brings me to end of my session. So, before we wrap up, here are some tips I'd like to give to maximize your learning experience with ChatGPT. You need to be very, very specific when asking questions. So you need to provide as much context and detail as possible. So it will help ChatGPT to understand your needs and provide accurate response. You need to also experiment and verify. While ChatGPT is a powerful tool, no doubt. It's always a good practice to experiment and verify the information it provides. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.